This is question number eight. In part A for four marks, we're asked to solve for x between zero and 360 degrees, sine of x minus 20 degrees is equal to one over root two. If we take the inverse sine of one over root two, we will get one of our known angles. All I'm going to do is write down a principal value and the principal value for x minus 20 is going to be equal to the inverse sine of one, half, uh, one over root two, which is gonna give me 45 degrees. If you're unsure, check your in degrees mode, take the inverse sine of one over root two, or if you like, root two over two. That gives us 45 degrees. We're then going to have plus or minus multiples of 360 degrees. If we now consider by symmetry, x minus 20 will be 180 minus this value, which is gonna give me 135, plus or minus multiples of 360 degrees. So if we just go ahead and solve, we can add 20 to both sides. So we'll have now x will be equal to 65 plus or minus multiples of 360 degrees. And we'll have x will be equal to 155 plus or minus multiples of 360 degrees. So from here, we can see now that the only values that will now satisfy this are going to be the 65, as if we add or subtract 360, we're going outside. So we can say x will be equal to 65 degrees. If we look at this one, if I add or subtract multiples of 360, we'll go outside the interval, so we'll have 155 degrees. All I've done here is simply use the symmetry of the curves. If we look at this, let's go ahead and do this now. What I've done, I've solved, and if we consider the sine curve, the sine curve looks something like that. If we've got some value just here, theta, then by symmetry, we will have one just here, which is 180 minus theta. So two solutions in that interval. In part B, for six marks, we need to solve cos 3x is equal to negative one half. So x is between zero and 360. Again, if we take the inverse cosine of a negative one half, we're going to get one of our special angles. So I'm going to write that 3x will be equal to, so if I take the inverse cosine of negative one half, I'm going to get 120 degrees. Then it will be plus or minus multiples of 360 degrees. Again, if you're unsure, do shift cosine, inverse cosine of negative 0.5 when you're in degrees mode, and we get 120. By symmetry, we will have now 360 minus the 120, which gives me 240, plus or minus multiples of 360 degrees. At this stage, I'm going to divide the equations by three. We will have x will be equal to 40 degrees, plus or minus multiples of 120 degrees. And then we'll have now 80 degrees, plus or minus multiples of 120. So if we look at this now, we're interested in x between zero and 360. So if we start here, we can say that x will be equal to 40 degrees. We can add for 120, which is gonna give me 160 degrees. Adding 120 is gonna give me 280 degrees. And of course, if I add or subtract any more multiples of 120, I'll go outside the interval. We'll have 80 degrees. We'll have now 120 on from that, which is 200 degrees and then we'll add another 120, which is gonna give me 320 degrees. So we've got six solutions in the given interval. If I sketch this up by symmetry, I'll just show how I've done the, the symmetry on this one. I've taken out the cosine curve. The cosine curve looks something like this. If we have theta just here, by symmetry, we're going to have now 360 minus theta, giving us the same value. We have this point right here, which was 120. Therefore, this one right here is going to be 360 minus the 120, which, of course, gave us the 240. So 10 marks in total. We've got 65 and 155 for part A, 40, 80, 160, 200, 280, 320 for part B.